Hey guys, this is Aaron at Max Machine Works. Today we're going to go over all the different Bravo cases, early and late. We're going to discuss the different towers and some of the other components that go with them and show you the different options that are out there. Okay, so this is regular old Bravo. This is XR old Bravo. And then we have the new style, which is the swept back case and they also come in regular and XR. Okay, so let's start with the regular Bravo. Regular Bravo has a cast tower in it. As you can see, sometimes they get ripped out because this is just cast aluminum that your gear is riding around. With the XR, they upgraded it by putting a steel tower in there that screws in. There's still a few issues that can happen with the XR as well though. Late style, same thing, screw in steel tower just swept back style case all right guys so let's talk about snouts on the cases now this is where your pinion gear and your u-joint assembly screw into the drive the thing about the regular one that we like better than the xr is there's more material right here as you can see on the xr they went to a pin style spanner nut and made it bigger around so it actually removed a little bit of material from the case one of the problems we see with that is it can blow the snout off the case. So here's what we would recommend if we start from scratch, this is how we would do it. All right, so this, this is a bra regular Bravo style case. We like to use this either in old school design or the swept back design. The reason we like this because of the thicker snout, the way we get around the bigger U-joint assembly is we make our own spanner nut and seal carrier that clears the bigger diameter of the U-joint assembly. So now you have the thickest snout in the case and the strongest spanner nut holding the U-joint assembly and pinning gear in the case. XR style, stock, ours. We also added a guard lip to both of our seal carriers so the seal cannot get pushed out into the U-joint assembly and spit all your oil out of the case. Ours are also made out of 4340 chromoly versus aluminum. All right, guys, so remember, we talked about the, all the difference in towers in the cases. Now I'm gonna show you what we do with our tower. Our tower is full length, goes throughout the whole distance of the case and nuts at the bottom. So now you're spreading the load that's being put on the case by the gear set through the entire case. Another thing about our tower is it's 4340 chromoly steel. Here's the screw in OEM tower. This is a bearing that goes in the tower for the clutch shaft. That's stock, that's ours. So we use the biggest bearing for the clutch shaft that we can. So. Now you have the thickest snout, the best spanner nut and seal carrier, the tower that goes all the way through the case with the biggest clutch shaft bearing. So you have the strongest case combination there is out of all the different options. Another point I wanted to make with this tower is if you broke your tower off in your case and it's not broke through the shifter cavity or the water cavity, we can machine your case and put this tower in it and make it as strong as the case can be. So if you broke your case, it's not the end of the world. It can be fixed. We went over the cases and the towers and the spanner nut and seal carrier. Now we're gonna go over the top caps. So here we have OEM, regular Bravo top cap, all aluminum, aluminum tower, aluminum thrust bearing ledge, Minimal thickness holding the cap onto the case. It uses 3 8 bolts. Then we have the XR top cap. Steel screw and tower, but still aluminum thrust bearing ledge. A little bit thicker, fend, still 3 8 bolts. A little bit better. Then we have a few aftermarket caps. All aluminum towers still, 3 8 bolts still. Uh, Small bearing, clutch shaft bearing still, you know, a little bit better, thicker right here, but now we have our 
top cap. This one is 6061 billet aluminum with a 4340 chromoly tower. Not only is the tower steel, but the thrust bearing ledge is steel as well. And it has the bigger clutch shaft bearing. Also on this cap, we use 7 16 stud kit versus the 3 8 bolt. Way more holding power, way more less case to case corner flex. We also have cooling fins on our cap and we use the process of convection. Heat goes to the steel, from the steel to the aluminum, from the aluminum to the water being sprayed on the cooling fins. Another thing about this cap that is different from all the other caps is this piece is replaceable. So worst case scenario, you have a gear break and it wipes out the tower on the cap. You can just replace the steel piece instead of having to buy a whole new cap.